Now we will do F92, which is a, a homogeneous solid block, and it's like a wall, isn't it? This solid block. So I purposely do not put any coordinate system, but I put uh, I give you the dimensions, and the dimension is this is 0.5 meter. Okay, I'm looking in meter. 0.5 meter, 2 meter, 1.5 meter, which is 2 meter, 1.5 meter, and this is half meter right and then this height is 1.8 so this is 1.8 okay and then um this one is 1.5 and this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 is it okay i hope you can you can figure this out i mean to this drawing so i mean like i said in reality there is no x y and z okay you can see around you there is no x y and z the only thing that, that we really do is when we want to solve something, then only then we put X, Y, and Z coordinate system to to help us using the equations and all the methods to solve points here to find the centroid, right? This is the uh, solid block. There is no X, Y, Z again in reality, but you need to define what is your X, Y, and Z, okay? So you can do this actually. You can do this. This is x, this is y, and this is z. So the zero zero is here. But please be wise, okay? Please be wise, because if you do that, what will happen is that lots of things will be negative, right? Because this is zero zero. For instance, the centroid of this will the the y will be minus, right? So the best way is actually to have as much. Uh, of positivity as possible okay so actually that's why in the 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 original question in the textbook it is defined as this is x okay x and this is y hmm? yeah, it should be like that okay this is y and this is z okay so can you imagine the origin zero 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 will be at the very very corner hmm, behind the, this this diagram okay it's like this but over there right so everything the x y and z coordinates will be in will be positive now okay again like i said you can do you can even have this zero 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 here but you have more problems okay because every everything every z every x will be uh, negative by then okay so that's why we put zero zero at the very back over there can you relax okay, can you see that so this is x y uh, sorry z and y okay so we want uh, the question us to find the locate of the mass okay locate the center of mass of the homogeneous solid block so what is the question for the for this to find the uh, center of mass to find the center of mass x bar okay is given as summation in this case because it's the composite body so summation of x till there dm isn't it over summation of dm not da dm why dm mass not a or area or v volume okay because the question asks to find the center of mass same goes to y y bar y bar will be y till there and dm and z bar will be z bar equal to z till there dm Dm, okay, but this is dm. Do we have mass here? That's the problem. Do we have mass? It's not mentioned anywhere about the mass, and actually it doesn't matter. Why? Because the question told you that this solid block is a homogeneous. Homogeneous means that the density, the mass density rho, is con, is constant. Okay, homogeneous. I mean, the density is constant everywhere. Because in reality, uh, for, for instance, if this is a concrete, it won't be constant. Okay, the density will vary from one place to another. And most material is like that. I mean, except metals. And I mean, if you go to materials science, and you will see this. But the thing is that for the density, for if it is homogeneous, the density is constant. What is the relation between density and mass? Have you seen this before? In your kindergarten? In your nursery? Rho equal to m over v. Density equals to mass over 
for you, right? And city of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cubic, something like that, right? So, this density goes to mass over volume. So, this is the relation actually. So, you have constant, constant density. But if you have differential mass and you have differential volume, right? So, you can rearrange this. Now, you have your dm equals to rho d rho dv. Okay? Why want to rearrange like this? Because you can put it here. So, your x bar will be summation of x till there. Dm is rho dv hmm, over summation of dm, summation of rho d dv. And we can, because rho is constant, you can cancel them out. Because it's constant, okay? Don't just simply uh, cancel it. Because it's constant, only then you can do that. And then, now your x bar will be summation of x to the dv over summation of x, uh, sorry, summation of dv. Okay? Okay? Okay. Probably you might ask, why, why, why you don't use this straight away? I mean, why would you use, because it, you have this volume and why don't you use the dv straight away? The reason is because actually you need to, uh, to, to check the question. The question said that find, locate the center of mass. Okay? Not center of volume. If you do this, actually this is for center of volume. So if you, you do summation of S theta dv over dv, that is a location of the center of volume, not center of mass. Okay? But they are now correlated directly like this. Why? I mean, now the electron, when we find it, the center of volume here is the same as center of mass because the material is homo homogeneous. Okay, if if it is non homogeneous, inhomogeneous, then actually you cannot simply uh, convert it. Okay, but now as a short for our problem here, your x bar, the, uh, the center of mass, and y bar and z bar electron will be the summation of x till there dv over assumption of dv. Why want to change to dv? Because we know the value. In this uh, diagram, we know the volume because you have this, all these um, dimensions. Okay? So for now, let me erase this. And then, you realize that actually all this is, it is a composite. So actually, it's a single body, but you can uh, you can section the single body into three parts, mainly three parts, right? Can you see that? The first part is can we call the rectangle as the first block or block A, right? And can we call this as block B triangle? This, this triangle and this triangle as C. It's okay. This triangle as C, which is the height is 1.8 meter and this, uh, this thing, the, the width is 1.5 meter and the thickness is 0.5, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. Okay? And um, for the B, for B, this is 1.5, right? 1.5. And this is uh, 1.8, right? 1.8, and this is 0 0.5. It's okay. And for A, it's a rectangle. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, it's a cube. The cube. Cuboid. Okay. Box cuboid. So the total length, total length is what? How much? It is 2 plus 0.5, right? 2.5. Because it's from here to here. 2 is just here and there. So if you extend to the end, so it becomes 2 plus 0.5, 2 plus 0.5, 2.5, okay? And then, this is 0.5, and then the height is 1.8, it's okay. Okay, uh, now we'll use the table. So we have this block, block, you have block A, 
the tra uh, the rectangle rectangle sorry the cuboid B is uh, like triangle prismatic triangle and C is prismatic triangle okay and then you have the volume okay everything in meter meter cubic so you can write the unit if you want mostly I I encourage you guys to write the unit but because we don't have I don't have space here so I don't really write the units okay so for V the volume the first one the rectangle again not really cuboid the cuboid the box 2 plus 0.5 right 2.5 so it is 2.5 the times 0.5 mm, times 1.8 isn't it 1.8 so you got 0.5 times 0.5 times 1.8 so you have 2.25 meter cubic okay and then b b is this so first find this area of triangle here which is half times width uh, sorry base base is 1.5 right okay by the way 1.5 is not this 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 okay 1.5 1.5 times the height height is 1.8 1.8 okay times the thickness which is 0.5 okay so you have okay let me write it half times uh, 1.5 times 1.8 times the thickness 0.5 so you got 0.75 meter cubic it's okay and C C again half half times base 1.5 height 1.8 thickness 0 0.5 isn't it? So we got the same 0 0.675. Okay. Next, we want to find want to find what what is the x till there, y till there, and z, z till there? Okay. So for the x till there, what is the centroid of A? What is the centroid of A? The centroid of A will be. Is it zero? No, it's not zero. Can you draw that actually? Okay, let's say this is zero, x zero, and then it moves 0 0.5 and moves 1.5 this year right so actually it will be in the middle of this 0 0.5 right hmm? because it should be in the middle of this middle of this uh, high and middle of this right should be middle of sorry middle of this middle of 1.8 and middle of this thickness 0.5 so this x bar will be 0 0.25 positive okay follow that 0 0.25 0 the thickness is 0 0.5, so it should be half of that, so 0 0.25. Alright? And, okay, I think let's just do everything so that you don't get confused when you move to the other block. Okay? How about the, this Y bar for this A? The Y bar, the Y is this, okay? So the, the total length is 2 plus 0.5, right? 2.5, right? 2.5, this. So 2.5 half of that will be 1.25. So it is 1.25. Okay. Don't get confused. It's not just 2. This block is 2 plus 0.5. Okay. Okay, 1.25. And Z, Z is half of this because Z the coordinate, uh, sorry, the the, the 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 origin 0, 0, 0 is at the very bottom there, bottom corner. So it is 1.8, half of that, 0 0.9, which is 0 0.9 meter. Okay? Next, we go to B. Okay. What is the location of the centroid of B? So first, what is the shape of B? The shape of B, the prismatic shape of B, hmm, it is this. The cross-section is triangle right a right triangle the base rectangle means that this is 90 degree triangle this length is 
1.5 meter, the height is 1.8 meter, and then thickness is 0 0.5. Okay, the thickness is just make it uh, to become a volume. So, the centroid of B here for this triangle, hmm, it is one third from this big portion, right? So D, it will be one third of this. One third. This is two third, right? So it is one third of from the big side or two third from the, the left side here. Okay. So how much is it? One third of one point five. It is zero point five. So it is zero point five. The location is zero point five, and this this is one. Okay, one third of this line, one point five. It's okay. So one third of zero. 1 over 3 of 1.5 is 0 0.5, so it's 0 0.5. But remember, it's not 0 0.5 because this is a coordinate. It's not 0, 0 here. 0, 0 back of another 0 0.5, isn't it? So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, so it becomes 1. You get that? Hmm? You get that? Okay, this one third, it becomes 0 0.5 meter. It's okay, because one third of 1.5. Okay, so this is 0 0.5, this is 1. 1 plus 0 0.5, 1.5. Okay, but again, this x till there is not just a length. It is a, is a coordinate. So this coordinate here is not x equal to 0 0.5, no. It is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 because the origin starts another further back, 0 0.5, right? The origin is not here, it's not along this line. It's somewhere there and along that one, isn't it? So, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, you got one. If you got confused again, you can ask me again, okay? And then, um, the y, so y is quite simple because this is 0, y equals to 0. This is the width itself. Uh, sorry, thin itself, 0 0.5. So it should be half of that. So it, it is 0 0.25. Half of 0 0.5. Okay, and again, this is y equals to 0. So it's fine to have 0 0.25. Okay, and then how about z? The z again is not half of that because it's not a, uh, it's not a, uh, a rectangle. This is a, if you look at this shape again, this is prismatic triangle, right? So this is triangle, right triangle. So it will be one third from here, two third from the top. Again, it will be the same. One third from, from here and two third from the, from the top. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, regarding this triangle, triangular shape, the center of triangular shape, you have this, a diagram, nice diagram in the back cover of your textbook, so you can check your textbook. Okay, I'm not sure what it is back cover or the appendix, but you can check at the back of your textbook. Okay, so one third of this and two third from the the bottom. So the central is somewhere here. Okay, so how much is it? So it will be one third of one point eight, which means that it is zero point six. Zero point six meter. It's okay. 0 0.6, 0, 1.2, and 1.8, isn't it? The, the, the height. Hmm? And C, go to C. So how about X? How about X? X will be, again, this is the thickness, right? So regarding the thickness for the X, so X 0, X 0 0.5, so it is half of that 0 0.2, 0 0.25. Hmm? And then, uh, okay, now we're regarding the y, okay, because y is this and z is this, okay, so now you have, now you have this, um, the, the triangle, the right triangle again, so you, you have to use the one third and two third, okay, the location is one third and two third, one third from the big side and two third from the left side. Okay, the location. So, somewhere here. Central. Um, of course, it's, you should go back a bit because it's in the middle of this thickness, right? Okay. 
So okay, I probably I I've gone too too quick. So I should mention this story. The triangle called the right triangle, the centroid of this right triangle, if it is uh, just an area, right? The centroid will be one third from this side, while it is and of course and, and two third from the other side. You understand that? And again, it's one third from this side and two third from that side. This is what I meant. Okay? So the centroid will be one third and one third from this. Or even two third and two third. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you understand what is happening. Okay? This is the same like when we talk about, okay, the, the rectangle. Rectangle should be half. Okay, this is half. Half, half. So this is centroid. Okay? But for Triangle, right triangle, it, should, it will, uh, it's not just for practice, it's any triangle. It is one third from the big side. Okay? And of course, two third from the other side. Because it will make one. One third means that one third of this line. Okay? That's not, I didn't mean, I did not mean one over three. Only, okay? One over three of the line. Okay? So, this y bar, okay, y tilde of this uh, number C. Second C, um, is one third from one point five. So one third from one point five is zero point five, right? Zero point five, and then another one. So it becomes one point five. So zero point five. Zero point five plus. Okay, because y is not this. Zero zero is not here. Okay, zero zero is somewhere back there. So you have to use this one plus two plus zero point five. The whole, the whole coordinate. 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5. Okay. Is it 3.5? Oh no, it's not 3.5. Sorry, sorry. It's 3. This one third is 1. Eh, sorry. This one third is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 plus 2, 2.5 plus 0.5, it is 3.0. 3. Okay. Then Z from bottom, from the bottom, one third and two thirds. So one third of one point eight, it is zero point zero point nine. That's okay. One point eight zero. Oh no no no! It's not zero point nine. 0 0.6 right because it's one third one one over three from 1.8 so 0 0.6 1.2 1.8 so it's 0 0.6 sorry my bad okay now you can sum them up okay the summation of volume sum them up 2.25 plus 0.675 plus 0.675 so you got 3.6 meter cubic okay and then this actually you have to do okay again actually I want to do vertical uh, I mean longer table okay? with more width but because we don't have space so I'll just do it here okay x till there v y till there v and z till there v V. V. So x to the V, this times this, you got, okay, so of course, it is for A, B, and C, A, B, and C, okay. So for A, this times this, you got 0.25 times 2.25. So this is 0 0.5625, right? And this times this, it becomes 0 0.675. This times this, you got 1.5. 5 times 0.675 so you got this 0.16875 okay and then y v so y and v 1.25 times 2.25 so you have 2.8125 and this times this 0.25 times 0.675 0.16875 and this time this 3 times 
0.675, we got 2.025. Then, the, uh, till z till the v, 0.9 times 2.25. Same. 2.025, right? 0.6 times 0 0.675 0.6 times 0 0.675 so 0 0.405 0 0.6 times 0 0.675 is the same so we got 0 0.405 okay and then you can sum them up okay I wish to put it in something so that we so that it become easier to see So, summation of x till the v, mm -hmm. sum them up, sum this up. So, you got 0.5625 plus 0.675 plus 0.16875. So, it is 1.4625 meter. Okay. And sum summation of y to the v, mm -hmm. this and this and this, the three of them, 2.8125 plus Point six eight seven five plus two point zero oh, two five. So got five point zero oh, oh, six two five. And finally, summation of z in the v. Okay, this 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 the three of them two point zero oh, two five plus point four oh, five plus point four oh, five. So you got two point eight three five. All right. So you have this this 3 and then you have this LV so you can find the X bar Y bar and Z bar okay let me erase this okay you, you need this and you need this so for X bar the x coordinate of the centroid, or oh, oh, sorry, center of mass, hmm, is summation of x till the v over summation of v. So summation of x till the v is 1.40625 over summation of v, which is 3.6. Okay, take the calculator. 1.40625 divided by 3.6. So you got 0 0.39 meter. Okay. And so y bar summation of y in the v over summation of v. So y the v is five divided by delta v. Ah, uh, summation of v sigma v not delta sigma v. Three point six. Okay, five point four four six two five divided by three point six. So you got. 1.39 meter okay and finally z bar the z coordinate of the center of mass summation of z to the v over summation of v so you got 2.835 over 3.6 okay 0 0.35 0 0.7875 so you got 0 0.79 meter okay so these are your x, y, and z coordinates of your center of mass. Hmm? So if you look at it, I mean it's not in the question again, but uh, if you look at it, the x is 0.39, so it is 0, 0 0.5, so 0 0.38 is somewhere here, right? Hmm? It is within this, uh, this width. Okay, and then the y is 1.3, so this is 0.5, this is 2.5, so this is like 1 plus 1.5 so it's somewhere here so we go over there okay oh it's bottom that's bottom because we have the origin at the bottom okay and then um so and then the the z the z is 0 0.79 so it's somewhere there so the, cent the center of mass is somewhere here i mean inside inside this Right? 